To help me discuss the scientific paper, Latherin, a surfactant protein of horse sweat and saliva, I have enlisted the help of Sugarcane, a four-year-old stock horse mare. Now she's only a baby, so hopefully she'll behave for us today. When an animal undergoes high intensity or a sustained period of exercise, the body heats up. If the body's not maintained at a functional level, then the animal cannot continue to exert itself. The body deals with the changes in temperature through a process called thermoregulation. Thermoregulation is dealt with in many ways, but today I'll only be discussing the process of horses sweating. The idea of horses sweating may seem quite straightforward. Does not work the same as ours? The number one difference is the horse's coat. Horses have a thick, hairy coat that thins in the summer and thickens in the winter. Horses, de horses develop their coat to deal with the harsh elements as they do not have the luxury of being housed or rubbed. The main, different, the main function of the coat is to keep the horse dry and warm during rain, hence it is waterproof. Seen here is it just simply runs off the outer hairs of the coat. This function would keep the sweat on the surface of the skin where it would make the animal hotter instead of cooling it down. To overcome this, horses have developed a surface active protein rich sweat called latherin. Latherin acts as a wetting agent, so basically it wets the soft, shorter hairs closer to the skin and allows the molecules a pathway out to the surface of the hair. Here it can be evaporated, allowing air into the skin. This in turn cools the horse. The number one, fun the, the number one characteristic of latherin is, a, is the characteristic lather that a horse wakes up when it is sweating or the points of contact, such as between the hind legs. There are only a few variations in the amino acid sequences of three tested members of the equine family. The Chapman zebra, the Persian oranga, and the common donkey. Further testing also revealed that any temperature that a horse could be exposed to in any climate of the world, such as the snow of the desert, did not denature or affect how the protein behaved in the sweat. Given this evidence, it can be said that a producing a protein-rich sweat was a wise evolutionary selection made a long time ago by a common ancestor of the equid family. Latherin's amino acid sequences also associates it with the part of the innate immune system. Having an immune or an antibacterial function allows the horse to disinfect their own hair and skin. This would be why a horse could have a skin lesion such as this and not develop a more extensive infection. The paper also investigates latherin's presence in horse saliva. As horses are the only animals that, put, that, that digest such a massive amount of dry food without being a ruminant, it could only be said that producing latherin is a, helps, their aid, helps them digest dry feed. No other evidence was found. Thank you.